we're just gonna, oh i hit the wrong button so we're mm-hmm. just gonna sit here and watch a human try to figure out how to use avatars and teams so, oh i got it it's gonna you? happen oh yeah here we go <laughs> oh there it is <laughs> I just took the default because I didn't want to spend too much mm-hmm, time on this. Mm-hmm. Is that how um, you see yourself? No, it was just like I found one with gray hair. I have less of it. I'm not as spelt as this person. You know, it's it's an idealized view. Is it? Sure. All right, I'm going to turn this off as hilarious as it is. I assume this will be back. There we go. See, you could. I bet you couldn't tell the difference. No, I mean it, it was um, <laughs> like any other time. Oh man, that's funny. The last time I tried that, it said my organization did not allow this, as they should, because I mean, that's, sure. I think that's and by more the way, that was the result than... of Brad and I started a meeting. I took at least sixty seconds trying to figure out the microphone slash headset setting thing that wasn't working correctly. And then it popped up a thing right on top of the... Our meeting had been underway for a minute or two. And it was like, hey, did you know you could try Avatars? Like, hey, did you know I was in a meeting? Jerk. I bet the metrics for how often, how long people use Avatars is probably right about exactly how long you did it. People are like, hmm, yeah, let's, exactly. let's see this. Yeah, like, oh, yeah look yeah. at that, a cartoon. Nope. Neat. Nope. It's, I mean, it's more distracting than looking at your face. Like, it's... <laughs> Which I don't know if that's a compliment or... Yeah, I know. <laughs> hmm, yeah, probably. Okay, that one could go either way. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you have $199 to spend, and you're mm-hmm. thinking I should get an Xbox, you can now get a refurbed Xbox Series S from well, Amazon Prime Day, whatever thing. I That's been a solid little console for me. I've get, Granted, I've given it a four-month break, but uh, it's, it's always worked right. Quiet, you know? It's yeah. a little light on the storage space, I guess, but uh, they can fix that. You can do the little plug-in drive thing. That'll well, do you it. can do the, the, yeah, those little cartridge type drives, which now there are two choices of vendors, finally. Yeah, Western Digital and, and Seagate. Seagate, yeah, that's right. Yeah, anyway, so if you, there's an iPad mini, there's like, if you need something, like. I, I, You're talking Prime Day. Yeah. Yeah. The best deals actually are on. Uh, well, that I found uh, are similar to what you just said. For example, like the MacBook Air, but the M1 version, the previous mm-hmm. version, is like 800 bucks to start. I'm like, yeah, it's like, okay, you know, I could see that. I mean, yeah, it's kind of it. Yeah, not bad. That's what I, I mean. It's you got to blow the dust mm-hmm. off the top of the box, but you know what? Like, yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. But that's okay. It doesn't go stale, it's not perishable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it shouldn't. The battery should be fine. Should get the original warranty. I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Still supported and whatnot. There you go. Unlike the original version on. of Windows 11, by the way. Oh, what? The original version of of a Windows 11 is about to exit support. Hmm. Because you know it's so old. Remember, it just came it out is? like 18 years ago, or whatever it was. Oh wait, it's like a year and a half ago. Yeah. Amazon yeah. has more, you know, is anybody using Android apps on Windows 11? They made a big deal about this, and I feel like it's been... Uh... Oh, are you serious? Uh, no, no one is. Um, is it? So, look, the the promise here is good, um, and it's good on both ends of the equation. Like, so for developers who have Android apps that, why not just put them on Windows? Mm-hmm. And you don't, you don't want to make a native app. You don't want to go through all that stuff. You should take the time to make some changes so that it works well on big screen devices, right? Well, you should have been doing that anyway, right? Um, it's good on that end. And I suppose for people using Windows, it's also good because there are those apps that just don't have native Windows versions. And um, this is a way to have an app experience. And honestly, I the, because mobile and desktop apps are so small, even apps that like appear as like a little mm-hmm. phone-shaped thing, it's okay. Like for, you know, whatever. I'm glad to make stuff up, like the Audible app or something. Like, it's fine. Um, the problem is it's Amazon, right? So right. Uh, I will say this. I, I looked at this yesterday. I look at this from time to time. And um, Microsoft back in September, October, mm-hmm. whenever it was, 
said there, there are 50,000 apps in the Android App Store. I'm like, no, there aren't. There were like uh, 57 apps. It was like some, there were dozens of apps. And when I wrote about it for the book back in, I don't know, March, 57 apps. There was nothing. But I installed it on whatever computer when they made that announcement. And uh, yeah, no, I don't, I can't say there are 50,000 because I'm not going to scroll that long, but that thing just kept going and going and going. But mm-hmm. it is a sea of crap. It's not like it's all the high profile apps you want. It's like just garbage. Yeah. So, which is the problem. So I haven't looked into this too much, but I know you can sideload. Mm-hmm. And obviously the goal here would be to get the Google Play Store going and then get some, you know, actual apps, right, that everyone wants. And that might be, you know, maybe. Well, there you go. So maybe yeah. Paul bringing a little Amazon app sunshine or something. I don't know. Like, hmm. I mean, that, but that's another, you know, uh, what is it? July, right? So over two years ago, yeah. Microsoft said Amazon or Android apps are coming to Windows. You know, they didn't release it in the first version of Windows 11. My wife just walked by the door. I assume right? a family, family member. Barreling in like a bull in a china shop while we're. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you probably uh, couldn't hear it, but my kid. Has no concept of anything, so she opens the door just screaming, "Dad!" <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm like 20 years past this point. Um, yeah, yeah <laughs> so 15 years. Of, um, I forget where I was going. They, I think that the Amazon App Store arrived in preview, maybe a year ago, January, something like that. Yeah, it sounds about right. So it's just been it's been a real slow boil the whole time, and of course the end the end result is so lackluster i think the technology is solid like i think the the windows subsystem sure. for android is is I great like it's just... hearing that hearing about this since like windows 10 well yeah they were gonna do, i mean yeah i know people who are on that team they the issue was the point of what they were doing remember this is part of those bridges right yeah that, was it they astoria bridge... uh yeah it was yeah project astoria so they had bridges for ios android which was mm-hmm. astoria um i don't remember web and something else i don't know it doesn't matter and the idea probably the i don't remember it doesn't matter the idea was to bring apps to windows but they they were still pushing this notion that there were going to be like native windows apps and the ios one was particularly weak because you couldn't bring apps you could just bring your code base so you'd have to create a new app yeah, so it was you know anyway these things never flew with anybody so but that that one the astoria one the android one was so well done that leadership actually killed it and disbanded it. Mm-hmm. The team had to all leave and go to different parts of Microsoft because it was too good. Yep. Um, it was like it's like you these app this is so good no one will ever this will just bring apps that are not native to Windows like which is good on one level but we're trying to this is a developer play like we want to bring developers to Windows and this is the opposite of that and they killed it you know. Now is the WSA is not actually the same technology it's not the same team not the same people. Um, I don't know how it compares. I mean, it's years later now, so but it it seems to work fine. I mean, I, I for the most you know it's semi seamless. You have yeah. to update those apps get updated through the uh, you know the App Store store, not the Microsoft store. But and it's it's a little um, I don't, more in your face, like you get notifications about it and stuff. You know, like mm-hmm. the Microsoft store apps, just, it just happens. You don't really think about it. You know. Yeah. But I don't know. It's okay. If Microsoft and Google could just get their act together, we can dream, you know? Yeah, you know, it's nice to want things, I think is the... Uh... Yeah, you think I'd be used to that, the difference between what I want and what reality is by this point in my life, but it's still uh, just an ongoing disappointment, my life, that is. Um... As noted by the <laughs> avatars at the beginning of this <laughs> yes. yeah. episode. It happens, it happens throughout. I don't know. It still hasn't happened we, where we got the FTC ruling. Still is yet to drop. So mm-hmm. hasn't dropped yet. I'm guessing it won't. At the earliest well, it could, it would any, until. But uh, any time. You know, I think well, I could. would imagine it would be after the market closes. Oh, I see. It, well, okay. Fair enough. I mean, like, can you imagine yep. when you're typing in the, the routing number in the bank account for that transaction? Like the, the Amy Hood's typing in like, all right, did we, how many zeros are in this? And then yeah, it's exactly. like... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to wire transfer money to the wrong account. Yeah, do you think they do a cashier's st- check? Like, what how's this going to... Actually, they should get one of those big prices right checks and walk it down to... <laughs> I think they literally build a golden parachute and hand it to Bobby Kotak or whatever his name is. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Yeah, but how'd that... How'd... Can you imagine just being the, the CFO over on the Activision side, just hitting F5, just waiting for that to... 
Like, well, it's either that or I, I hope everyone has a plan B. Like, you know, when um, like uh, in the old days at a newspaper, um, some famous figure could be in the hospital and people would literally write two stories. Yeah. One was the person survived and the other one was the sure. unfortunate passing of whoever. And um, you almost have to kind of view it like that because literally the, everything kind of hinges on this. I mean, it, again, barring any we keep going, you know, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I don't think it's, it's going to keep going. Like I know, Activision I just, is going to press an F5 on that bank account because you're either getting like $70 billion or $3 billion. It's one or the other. Yeah. 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 How do we do on Google Ads this week? Oh, just $3 billion? Oh, well. <laughs>